What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm gonna to show you guys on how to create the FIB outfit that you do see in the thumbnail. To create this outfit, whenever you do make it to the clothing store, go over here to the front counter, scroll down until you do find Heist Technical Stealth, which will be on slot 20, and you're gonna equip the operative outfit. It just gives you these pants with these type of boots, but we're gonna be changing the pants later and also keeping the boots. So once you do equip the operative outfit, back under the front counter, go over here to the top section, scroll down until you find tucked service shirts. Service shirts should be right here on slot 37 and look for the black service shirt tucked on slot 15. After you do equip this tucked service shirt, you can then back out, scroll down to slot 58, which will be the utility vest and scroll down until you find the peach plate carrier on slot 44. We will worry about the logo on the back of this shirt later, and I'll show you guys on how to get it, because if for some reason, whenever we do the transfer, not the transfer glitch, the merge glitch, it for some reason takes off the logo, so I'll show you guys on how to put it on later. After you do have the tuck service shirt and the peach plate carrier on your character, you can then just back out of your tops, go over here to the pants section, you're then just gonna scroll down to cargo pants on slot four, and equip the navy large cargos on slot nine. Once you do have these cargo pants, back out, walk over here to your accessories, scroll down to gloves on slot seven and equip the black woolen gloves on slot 58. After you do have the black woolen gloves, that's all for your accessories. Now we're just gonna make sure you have the right boots on. So go over here to the shoes, click on boots and make sure you have the black flight boots on slot 68. So if you guys don't like these, there's another kind of boots that you guys can get. If you scroll up to slot 16, you're gonna see the heavy uniform boots right here. So just up to you, whatever boots you guys like, but the boots that we do have right here are the black flight boots, which aren't selected, which I kind of like, and I think they do look better on the outfit, but it's just up to you. After you do have the boots you like, you can then just back out and take off any head accessories that your character does have. So after you've taken off your head accessories and your outfit looks like this, go up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and you can save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, back out of your edit saved outfits, scroll down through your clothing until you find heist coveralls on slot 13, scroll down from slot nine through slot 12 and equip one of these outfits with the toxic mask. After you've done that, back out of the front counter, and now we're gonna head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch. After you have found a telescope on the pier, just do the telescope glitch. So run by the telescope, press right on the D-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, then look toward the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, and you're gonna equip the outfit we just saved at, earlier at the clothing store, which will look like this. After your outfit looks like this, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, the mask will merge over to your outfit, and now we're just gonna head to a gun store. When you have made it to a gun store, walk over here to the top section, hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, you can then just back out of your tops and now we're gonna start up a job. So hit pause, go to online, click on jobs, click on play job, click on rockstar created, then go to missions, look for the job that's called a titan of a job and just start up that mission. And when you fully load into the job, you should see that you're not wearing the peach plate carrier anymore. So you're gonna go back over here to your tops, hit edit saved outfits and just save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you have saved your outfit, back out of your tops. And now you can just pull up your phone and quit the job from your phone. When you load back into a public or an invite only session, if you guys do have an outfit saved with a cop belt, I would recommend you to go ahead and equip that outfit right now. If you don't, you guys can use something else. So go over here, once you are inside the gun store, go over here to your outfits, scroll down to the Diamond Casino Heist on slot 51. And if you go to group based sex gear on slot 20, you can equip one of these outfits with this type of belt, which, which has a walkie talkie. If you guys don't like this one, you can then back out and don't go to maintenance, but go to prison guards on slot 15. And you can just equip one of these outfits with this type of belt that has like some keys on it. You guys can use that one, which I would recommend probably is the best. It's just up to you, but go and equip an outfit with the belt. So like I said, I already have an outfit saved with a cop belt. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. After you do equip an outfit with a belt, we're now gonna do the merge glitch. So I will leave a link in the description for it's a G thing, and you guys can bookmark that job and do that for the merge glitch. But for me, I'm gonna do the heist department merge. So I will get back to you when I am at my apartment. 
when you make it to your apartment, go into the heist planning board room and go up here to the heist planning board. Out of all the five heists, select the first one, which is going to be Flake a Job. And then you're going to need to complete the first mission, which is going to be called Scope Out, and have the second job ready, which is going to be called Kuruma, and just launch that mission. After you load into the Kuruma job, set your heist clothing to player saved outfits, and then you can just confirm your settings and invite whoever you want, like a random or a friend. And when someone does join, just launch the job. Now that you're in here where it does show your owned outfits, scroll to the slot to wherever you did save the outfit, which should look like this, and just hit ready to play. All you need to do now is whenever you load into the job, just pull up your phone and quit the job from your phone. So once you are back in a public or an invite only lobby, you're going to want to find a car. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street, go ahead and get inside that car, pull up your interaction menu and register as a secure serve or a motorcycle club. After you've done that, pull up your interaction menu up again, click on secure serve CEO or motorcycle club, then go to management, go to style, and on your CEO style, scroll one time to the left and then one time to the right back to none, then hop out of the car and then you will see that the belt merges over to your outfit. So like I did say, the crew logo will disappear. What we're gonna do now is head to the clothing store so we can get the crew logo and the head accessories for this outfit. Whenever you have made it to the clothing store, I will leave a link in the description for the FIB crew that I did join to get the crew logo on the back. So if it does get full, sorry guys, I can't do anything because it is not my crew so I can't kick anybody and I don't know the owner. So what you're gonna need to do is whenever you do get to the clothing store, go over here to the tops, scroll down to crew emblem on slot 59 and go to back crew emblem and select it and you'll see that the crew emblem is now on your shirt like this. You can now back out of the tops, go over here to the hats, scroll down to caps forward, which will be on slot four, and you're gonna scroll down until you find black cap, which will be right here on slot 67. After you do equip black cap, back out of the hats, go over here to the glasses, click on professional glasses, and you're gonna look for the enema black glasses on slot 13. And after you do equip these professional glasses, you should see that it does merge with your hat. What we're gonna do now is go up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and just save our outfit. And after we do save our outfit, we're now gonna get the FIB badge. To get the FIB badge, just head to your arcade. Once you do make it to your arcade, you're gonna go up here to the setup board, and for your select approach, you're gonna set it to the big con right here with the Bug Stars van. After you have done that, you're now gonna go over here to the prep board. And whenever you have got to your prep board, you're gonna obviously select your support crew. Once you've done that, go to the hacking device where you see Lester's face and you're gonna launch this mission. Whenever you do launch the mission, make sure your character is wearing a suit like this. If you're just wearing your outfit you had before you started the job, just go ahead and find a new session and just keep doing that over and over until you finally join the job whenever you are wearing the suit. After you are wearing the suit and you are in the job, you're going to want to find a gun store and go to the gun store. When you have made it to the gun store, go over here to the outfits. Don't go over here to the tops because you won't be able to select your outfit. So go over here to the outfit side and then you're going to click on outfits saved on slot one and look for the FIB outfit you saved, which should look like this. And then you should be able to equip it once you select it. After you do select, you should see that you're now equipped with your outfit. What you're gonna wanna do now is just go to the location to wherever it tells you. After you've gotten to the location, just take out everybody that is there. Once you have taken out everybody, look out, look for the FIB agent, and then it should tell you to search for the, should tell you to search the agent for the badge, and then you will see that the FIB badge is now on your character like this. What we're gonna do now is find a gun store. Just look for a gun store on the map and go over there. When you have found a gun store, just walk inside like this, and then you can go over here to the outfits or the top section, hit right on the D-pad, hit as saved outfits, and save your outfit on any slot that you want. And after you do save it, back out of the tops. And now, instead of finishing the job, so if you guys just wanna keep getting the FIB badge over and over, you can do this. Just hit pause, go to online, find new session, and then go to an invite or a public session, it doesn't really matter, and then just find a new session. 
And just like that, you can see I'm in an invite only session and the FIB badge is still on my character and you can see that it is saved. So even if I switch to different outfits and then I switch back, it's still on my character. We did forget one thing though. So go back inside the gun store, go up to the middle counter where it does say gear and then look for the LCD earpiece. You're gonna equip LCD earpiece or you can equip the gray earpiece. It doesn't really matter. It's one of those two. I think the gray earpiece might actually work better. It's up to you. But after you do equip an earpiece, back out, go over here to the tops or the outfits, hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit once again. And after you do save your outfit, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this glitched outfit, FIB outfit for your male character. If you guys do any role play on console, I'd say this is pretty cool. And I hope you guys did enjoy this outfit. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.